evening, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the New York Arena in Midtown Manhattan for tonight's main event. 12 rounds in a light heavyweight division. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. He's making his way to the ring right now, and he does so with an attitude that belies his in-ring intensity. The Cobra's making his way to the ring with a determined giddy-up in his step. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Come on. And we are underway for this scheduled 12-rounder. Good block by the Cobra. The Cobra isn't giving us anything to talk about right here, Teddy. He's not moving. He's not boxing. He's not fighting. Well, 75% of this business is mental, and you would love to know mentally what's going on in his mind right now. Not much. <laughs> not hitting his mark there going upstairs. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Halfway through round number one. It's all right. Keep moving. This is excessive holding we're seeing here now. Good solid right hand he lands there. Right to the belt line. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. End of the round. And this is a little bit hard to take if you're sitting back at home watching this fight and saying, I, I just don't get it. I mean, if you want to win the fight, you have to throw punches. Maybe he doesn't want to win the fight. See, you're taking for granted that... What, is he scared? He's fearful? Hey, everybody's you scared. Anyone who's in that okay. ring is scared. He's not controlling his fear. He's not taking it, and that's for people in all aspects of life, whatever they do. You have to take whatever it is that can intimidate you, and you got to put it on the side and say, okay, right now, I'm not going to let that get in the way. He's letting it get in the way. Nice block by the Cobra. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs.
And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Precision work with the left hand by the Cobra. The Cobra's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. What an impact that left hand just made by the Cobra. Solid uppercut. Final 10 seconds Body of round shot. number two. Body shot. End of the round. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas with you ringside. He just didn't throw enough, Teddy. I mean, you got to go out there and put something forth if you want to win the round. Hey, sometimes it's complicated. Sometimes it's pretty simple. You don't throw punches, you don't win fights. More than one punch now. This fight is even, so I need to see more than one punch out there. Keep your hands. Right? Keep your hands up. And round number three is underway. The Cobra's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Solid uppercut. Well targeted left hand by the Cobra. Good counter punch. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Keep moving. Gotta see those points. That's a good left hand by the Cobra. Gets rid of that effort. Unable to connect by the Cobra. Protecting his head well with his guard. Boy, oh boy, that's tough to take. Wow! What a hook to the body, and he is down and in bad shape. One, two, three, four, five. Down he goes, now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's gonna have to grab on, kill a little time. Downstairs with a right hand. Last 10 seconds of round number three. And this round comes to an end. Keep yelling and hitting him. Keep him in front of you, okay? Don't let him move around too much. Cut the ring off, then get up. But set the power shot. You need to mix your punches up. Throw more punches to the body. This is a fairly competitive, tight fight. The difference being, of course, we did have a knockdown scored as you look at Teddy's scorecard. And that's what professional boxing is about, putting fannies in the seats. The harder puncher, the guy who's more effective, the guy who puts more hurt on you, Gets the round. The Cobra's coming out to fight this round after being knocked down in the previous round. Teddy, 
Any idea? Do you think he's recouped enough here? Well, we're going to find out very quickly by looking at his legs. You're going to look downstairs just like... That uppercut absolutely rocked him. Boy, I don't like the way his legs look at all right now. Boy, he really digs in when he decides to throw that uppercut. Good job. Oh, he is absolutely... Oh, and there you go. And for the second time tonight, he goes down. Gets up after that punch, put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Oh, that's a big hook right there. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Oh, what a whiff by the Cobra. Piercing jabs. The Cobra's punches just don't look like what they should look like right now, Teddy. I know he's thrown a lot early on here, but there's no oomph on them. Well, that's the other side of it. There's always a flip side to a coin, and the flip side here in the boxing ring, yeah, he threw a lot of punches, but they didn't affect the guy. Right now, I think he's giving in a little bit. Ten clicks of the top. Blocks that belt line well. End of the round. So he scores the knockdown and now heads back to his corner. Teddy, do you ever have to calm a guy down after he scored a knockdown? That's a really great point because a lot of times that can be the turning point, but not for your guy that scored the knockdown, for the other guy. Because sometimes when you score a knockdown, you start to think it's gonna be an easy night. And you forget what you knew when you came in. That wasn't going to be an easy night. You are going to have to bring all the tools out of the tool shed. And it's important to remember that. He has a new round in front of him, but I don't know that there's any new hope. He's been down numerous times tonight, including that last round. You never know what a person's capable of when they're pushed to the brink. But this would be very unlikely. It would be spectacular. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunch. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Scoring with the right hand by the Cobra. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. You're still not enough. Good accuracy with that uppercut. And he clinches yet again. Halfway through this round here. Keep doing what you're doing. Defense just covering up down low. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. Teddy, making predictions in boxing is often a dangerous task, but I'll make one right here that seems pretty obvious to me as we come to the end of that round here. This fight is going to be a brutal display as long as it lasts. It's kind of like going and watching that home run contest. Nobody's trying to hit singles or doubles. You know they're all going for the fences. Okay, listen. I need you to throw three punches. Combinations. Listen to me. 
you're getting caught up. You're getting caught up and you're fighting this fight. Focus for me. I got more. The start of the sixth round. Threw the straight right hand, but didn't score with it. Let's see some more head movement. Ellie ties up there. That was not well targeted by the Cobra. Double up your punches! And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Halfway through round six. Nice work. Nice work. Solid left Take hand to the head. The Cobra is fighting this fight as if somebody glued the bottom of his shoes to the canvas, Teddy. Somebody should check that right now. If I was in the <laughs> corner, I'd call the referee over and say, hey, can you check that for me? You're not focusing. Yep, yep. <laughs> He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. That's a huge left he just scored with. Scored well with that right hand to the body. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. The Cobra's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. That was yet another round where he just looked like the fresher, better conditioned fighter. And here in these later stages of this fight, that's where you get the payoff. Well, the payoff is what we heard. We heard about coming into this fight that in training camp they were doing five-minute rounds. We heard that, Joe. Not three-minute, five-minute rounds. He's getting the benefit right now of that. You're doing good. Keep it up. Don't let him breathe. Get him in this round. Well, the ability to adapt is so important. Who can make the changes now as we're halfway through this scheduled 12-rounder? Why is he doing this? Can, can you explain this right here? I mean, he's not doing anything. Either he's been hurt where we didn't see the punch early on, or right now he's thinking about getting out of there. He just doesn't want to fight anymore. He's broken down. Hey, gotta see that come in. Let's go. Good, strong combo. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Beat him to the punch! Nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by the Cobra. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. Oh, Chopping cool. a little wood with that hook. Ten seconds to go in the seventh. And round seven. You're not giving me punches, okay? Throw more punches. Jab, jab, hook. There you go. Don't worry about it. 
get in your rhythm, okay? I want to see more jazz. As we open up round eight, we look at Teddy's scorecard, and it is much the same. All these rounds now starting to just blur together. They're taking the same exact form, one guy dominating the other. Yeah, and the one who's dominating, why should he change? Of course he's not gonna change. All the emphasis, all the burden now is on the opponent. He's gotta change something. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. The Cobra's got something to think about now. He just threw a punch and had one coming right back at him. His opponent scored well with the counter. Distance, such a key factor always, Teddy, when it comes to defense. With his good foot movement, he's been keeping that distance. His opponent, doing. how does he close that gap properly? Well, first of all, he's got to use his jab to close it because he's getting picked off coming in. He's getting pot shotted. So he's got to have something coming at his opponent that yeah, keeps him distracted. Legacy. Use that jab. Now, don't use it conventionally, Joe. You're jabbing at the head, you're not finding nothing. You're just finding space. So jab a little lower. Drop the sights a little bit. Jab at his chest. Just so you touch something, That's and then you can work your way in. You can start to find them a little. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Watch that! And round eight comes to an end. He's winning the fight. I mean, don't, don't tell me anything different than he's winning the fight. Yeah, except at the end of the fight, sometimes these judges, they do tell you things differently. Hopefully that's not the case. Well, he's, he's up way on the punch stats. I know he's ahead on your scorecard, and you can just tell everything that's happening in the ring, he's in control. It's all yours, baby. But you gotta keep working. Keep working. This is your fight. Don't get lazy on it. Okay? You got any more of these? Back to action now. We're underway in what has been a completely one-sided fight. You get the sense this one may not go the distance. The Cobra's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Good job protecting himself. He's got that certain something that's a well-acquired skill in this craft of boxing, and that is superb defense, and it's on target tonight. It is. The old-timers would say, you know, that's the hard thing is to learn defense. You know, the easy part, the fun part is letting your hands go. So he's got the hard part down. Guess what? He's enjoying the fun part right now because of it. Halfway through the ninth round. Keep working the yap. Good. Good. He missed with that headshot. Little head hunting with the left. Double up your punching. Keep moving. Keep moving. Where about they? The Cobra's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. You're doing great! Final chance, last 10 seconds of round nine.
what a difference from corner to corner as he sits on his stool he knows that he is in complete control of this fight peppering his opponent with power shots well it's been like that all night long anything he throws finds a target keep circling don't stand in front of me you gotta fight you gotta one more Another round, will it go in another one-way direction? It's been a one-sided fight so far tonight. Teddy, it is such a gift that he has right here. We're seeing such a technically sound defensive fighter. Yeah, we are. You know, the old-time trainers would say, Teddy, he's doing the hard part. And that is the hard part, making the guy miss. Now he has to start doing the fun part, hitting him. And out of nowhere, things can turn like that, Teddy. Everything was looking good. Now it's looking bad for him. Well, that's exactly why, because nothing was coming at him. His opponent wasn't throwing back. He got a little lax, and he paid a price. Halfway through round 10. Good looking uppercut that time. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Hook, hook. Body shot, body shot. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. And he engages in the clinch. Side to side. Move your head. Can you believe that? What a change in momentum. He just got rocked. Moments ago, he was the one hurting his opponent. Reminds you of this song, I can do anything you can do, only better. And yet another big shot comes in. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. Unable to beat the count. Knockout loss for him. what you want to see a guy who can close the show and finish with style he ends up a knockout victor tonight and that's what his trainer wanted his trainer was even telling him step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible and they got it i'm joe tessator for teddy atlas saying thanks for being with us and enjoy the rest of your night